Psalm 136, there's a famous song. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. It says his steadfast love endures forever. That Hebrew word, hasad, means mercy too. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods because his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords because his mercy endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders, his mercy endures forever. Over and over and over again, his mercy endures forever and his mercy endures forever upon you if you are his child. And when I think about God's mercy, I think about the fall of man, about how God gave us everything and he put us in a perfect world. And even in a perfect world, what did we need? We needed God's mercy because we always fail. We always fall. That's what it says in scripture. And that's what happened the first time. And we've needed mercy from the very beginning. But I've thought about that. From the time we fell in the garden, there was another garden that Jesus came to, the garden of Gethsemane. And I thought about the comparison between the two and it hit me. I want you to think about this. When Judas came to arrest Jesus and think about when God came to find Adam after Adam fell. And I want you to compare the two. When God came to the garden in Adam's fall, a holy God was looking for a guilty man. And when Jesus was in the garden, the guilty man came looking for the holy God. When God came to the garden in Adam's fall, man hid from punishment. With Jesus in his garden, he stood tall in our place. When God came to the garden, Adam's eyes were open to shame. When Jesus came to the garden, his disciples' eyes were closed in sorrow. When God came to the garden with Adam, Adam passed the blame. But Jesus carried the blame. When God came to the garden with Adam, Adam was clothed by God after being naked. Jesus was ultimately stripped naked and his clothes gambled away. When God came to the garden with Adam, the tree of life was locked away. But with Jesus, God hung on a tree, making it our tree of life, our tree of mercy. How? Because it was on that tree he paid for you and me but his mercy wasn't done there. Because that's not the end of the story. Because Jesus the God-man went to one more garden. That was the garden tomb. And when God came to that garden, he had other plans. And we call it a borrowed tomb for a reason. Why? Because Jesus wasn't planning on staying long. He had other plans. He was gonna get up, march out of that garden and rise again. And again, we can say today, he's not Jesus on the cross, he's Jesus off the cross. He's not Jesus in the tomb, he's Jesus reigning on high. We have that power, we have that grace, and we have that mercy, amen? But it all started on that tree, that mercy tree.